Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hello. So, um, welcome to the 10th virtual business meeting. This is my first one of new professionals. My name is Vesna and um, I live in Belgrade, Serbia. I work here at the university library, but um, I'm also a convener of the new professional special interest group. Um, we have with us Andres, who is the fresh member of the new professionals, and then Katya and Antoine, who have been with the new professionals for some time now. So you can uh, briefly introduce yourselves. Mm. Who wants to go first? Andres? Okay, I can, I can go. <clears throat> um, my name is Katja Sklar and uh, I live in Helsinki, Finland. Um, I'm working at the moment uh, part-time in the library and I, uh, in the public library of uh, Helsinki Espo, Wampen, Gaunian and four joint libraries, uh, city libraries together. And uh, I'm responsible for uh, web content of the libraries, especially on the Russian version of the website. Uh, translations and uh, like uh, marketing stuff. Yeah, and I'm a member of a new professional special interest group as a uh, information co-coordinator from like 2015. Yes, uh, when we started to be a group in Cape Town after IFLA in Cape Town. And uh, yeah, so yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, cool. Well. Andres, I do go. you want to introduce uh, Yes, yes. Hello, everybody. I am Andres Reynoso. I am new member of New Professional Special Interest Group, and I am the worst speak English ever. And I'm going to try to well, uh, tell I am a librarian of the Ministry of Labor here in Argentina. And uh, I enjoy the group very, very early. I, I already collaborate for the group as volunteer, and now I am a member. I am uh, very glad to participate of this great space. And I say uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. I'm Antoine Terence. I'm from Paris, France, but I currently live in Jericho, Palestine, and I've been a member of uh, IFLA New Professional Special Interest Group for two years now, since uh, 2015, exactly like Katya. Uh, I'm French, so I'm basically very, I'm terrible at English, but uh, I've been improving my English a lot since I'm the member, a member of this group. And well, I hope it go. It will go on. Okay, cool, great. Well, great to have you all on board. Uh, we also have uh, Milan on the leadership team, but he was not able to join us this afternoon. So uh, we basically were thinking of going through some of the major things um, for this year as uh, regards the new professionals. Uh, all of us have our daily jobs, but. Um, we, uh, some are students, of course, but <laughs> uh, some work at the libraries, uh, but uh, uh, lots of time besides these jobs, uh, we, um, we spend working uh, with this group. And uh, I personally find it really, really motivating and inspiring. And it's uh, one of the best things in uh, library field for me. Because, uh, you know, in your own country, in your own library, it takes so forever to agree on something and when working with the cool people like these here it's like everything is agreed in half a time. so it's very motivating so this year uh, our focus is the IFLA conference at this point uh, and uh, especially the IFLA camp so before the conference where we also have some joint sessions we will be having the IFLA camp for those who don't know it's the unconference and it's sort of a very cool introduction to the IFLA conference itself. And uh, this year we planned to have uh, two days. Day one would be the uh, unconference in form of an um, open space. And the second day would be cycling for libraries. So, um, okay, I will just speak briefly about the first day and then maybe Katya and Anton can talk about the cycling for libraries. So the first day 
it will be participant driven event. So we come there in the morning around 10 o'clock and we decide what we want to do that day, what we want to discuss, the hot topics, the, the shapes of the discussions. We can go outside, we can stay inside, we can form groups and uh, just, you know, have fun while working. We also have a teaser on our um, YouTube channel so you can take a look at it. Um, the it will be held on August uh, 17th it's uh, Thursday and uh, it will be at the very heart of Wroclaw at the main square I don't know how they pronounce it Rynek or Rynek <laughs> so uh, it will be in uh, regional public uh, library of Wroclaw and we plan to have uh, around, usually, I guess, around uh, 50 people, up to 50 people. So um, if 10 is okay, 30 is okay, 50 is okay. So we'll work with, uh, with anyone who's um, willing to, to join us. Uh, then at the end of the first day, and Katya, please, if you can uh, elaborate a little bit on that, we will have a really cool workshop, uh, movement workshop. And it actually goes with the... Um, main theme of our camp which is uh, librarians on the move so the movement will go throughout the uh, whole ifla camp so katya yes so the idea of uh, movement workshop uh, is uh, to to bring up uh, movement and the whole body into communication and uh, into uh, create like uh, into building up the creativity in people so we invited to our workshop to keep uh, our workshop uh, Anna Olkinora, who is a creative director of Uto Uto um, Performing Art Group. And uh, she has already experience of uh, doing workshops uh, in the libraries, like for kind of like for just customers. And uh, uh, next her workshop will be held in Finland in um, uh, like library days of Finland in June. And after that, I just talked to her if she could come to, to keep it for for new professionals and um, it seems that schedules fit. So yeah, we will have her in um, um, IFLA camp. And uh, I just uh, strongly recommend everyone to, to just try it. It's very difficult to explain in words because it's like language of movement and uh, you don't have to, to know anything beforehand, but these types of workshops, they bring up a new level of um, um, approach uh, to, to the world and to your colleagues and to yourself. So it will be probably in the evening of the first day of uh, IFLA camp. So we, know, we will know a little bit of each other and then in the, as a dessert of the day, we will have uh, like intensive body work all together. Okay? Sounds, sounds awesome. And um, as for the second day, the cycling for libraries, would you like to say something about it, Antoine? Uh, yes, uh, so maybe some of you have, have heard already about Cycling for Libraries. It's uh, an initiative that was created in Finland between 2009 and 2011. And uh, now there are Cycling for Libraries tours uh, yeah, almost everywhere around the world. There, will be, there, there is one at the moment uh, near Copenhagen, I think. They just left Copenhagen uh, yesterday or today. Um, and uh, there will be some other local tours uh, this year, but uh, our tour is a bit uh, different because it's only one day, but it's related to, of course, the IFLA conference. So the idea is, um, the idea of the IFLA camp is not only one idea. Th there are many ideas in one. The first one is advocacy. It's to defend the idea of libraries, to defend libraries, and to, to have libraries uh, uh, 
defend themselves and to make libraries visible, to, to make them, to, to, to have people of the places where we go, uh, learn about library, see things about library, ask questions, etc., etc. The second point is uh, it's a conference, a non-conference, but uh, an unconference, but it's kind of a conference between librarians, among librarians. Um, so we can talk uh, with each other and we can know people. And especially uh, this year, it will be a very, very good occasion, opportunity to know uh, Polish librarians and uh, because we are uh, connected to some local cycling and librarians associations so it will be probably better than uh, the FLA conference itself to uh, get to know some Polish librarians um, and the third thing is that usually during IFLA camp uh, we visit things we either either we either we, we see some cities or we visit some libraries so usually it's a good way of uh, you know knowing what new services what new spaces uh, exist in libraries okay, yeah, sounds, sounds sounds great uh, and uh, as for andres he uh, you probably won't be joining us at uh, Wroclaw uh, in uh, like face to face, but uh, you will be supporting us from Argentina, right? Exactly, exactly. I collaborate for in remote distance uh, for all we need. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> already I, I don't know what is exactly this uh, collaboration means, but uh, I wanna work for all we, we need for, for make a great IFLA camp. I've heard you create very good playlists. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to say that, of course, the, the New Professionals Network is a network that uh, have, has usually only one um, actual meeting, like physical meeting uh, per year at the IFLA conference, but it's mainly uh, a digital age uh, network. And uh, Andres has already uh, done a lot yes, uh, last year for NPSIG by creating uh, a playlist, a YouTube playlist about uh, failure that helped a lot uh, with the organization of the workshop in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and there are many, many ways of uh, contributing to NPC, NPSIG uh, network uh, remotely. Yes. We want to demonstrate uh, we can do a lot remotely in this uh, in this era in the in this uh, in this in this time. No. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sounds yeah. great. And um, as for the uh, IFLA camp, uh, it will last for two days. The first day will be at the library. The second day will be on the road. But uh, we also plan some other activities. Uh, one is secret so far, we just came up with it, and it will involve some movement and some music, but so far we will <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> uh, so you have to stay tuned. Um, and uh, for uh, whatever you want to do, if you want to join us for the first day only, that's fine. But uh, whatever you choose to do, it's, um, uh, you have to register. It's good to register on our um, website. It's uh, npsig.wordpress.com. And uh, we just uh, need to, you know, have the right number of people who will join us so we can organize better. And um, what else I wanted to say, uh, it is free, completely free. And uh, we already do have some sponsors. It's uh, OCLC and Springshare, but we are looking for more partners, cool partners who wanna work with the famous new professionals. Um, so what else? Oh yes, the social evening. Yes, we usually uh, try to have a social evening at uh, IFLA conference so that you new professionals can meet and speak and you know, just an evening. Uh, last year, I think we called it uh, NPSIG happy hour. So this year we will have one uh, on Sunday, August 20th. Yes. Um, so uh, we don't know the place yet, 
but just uh, save the date and feel free to join. Yes, and uh, as for the rest of the serious things, <laughs> We will, um, the new professionals also will participate in uh, some of the joint sessions. One is um, on uh, August 23, that's Wednesday. Uh, it's joint session with library theory and research. It's about uh, transforming the librarian role. Uh, so it's at 9.30 in the morning. And then the second one with division three, it's the IT library services. Um, it will be, on Wednesday as well, but uh, in the afternoon at uh, 145. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention is the president uh, elects meeting. Uh, last year, new professionals also participated in this meeting. I was not part of this group at that point, but that was one of the best sessions I've ever attended at the IFA conference, honestly. It was really, really good. And uh, so this year we will be uh, supporting this session as well. And it is on uh, Thursday, August 24th at 8.30 in the morning. And it's worth waking up so early. So. <laughs> also, do you guys have anything else to add as for the uh, announcements? Uh, yes. Um, I also agree that uh, last year's uh, president-elect session with uh, Gloria Perez San Mero uh, was a very important moment and a great moment where, when we, we all learned a lot during uh, that uh, session. Uh, also, I think we can mention that you, Vesna, will uh, give a presentation on Mo Monday, August 21st at the genealogy and local history session. Am I right? I hope so. <laughs> uh, and I myself should be uh, giving a presentation at the on Thursday afternoon at 1.45 uh, about um, what uh, international cooperation and international uh, engagement uh, brings to new professionals. In the, it's uh, the, the session organized by the national organizations and Info international relations uh, special interest group. Yes, that, that should be great as well. And uh, I, I was a bit joking, but then I wasn't about the, my presentation because it's at the same times, at the same time when I'm supposed to be at some other uh, meeting because I'm also part of the IFLA leaders program. So uh, I have a pretty tight schedule, but uh, I think I will make it to, to both. So, uh, yes. Um, so this is what I also wanted to say. So we have the IFLA camp, it's 17 and 18. Then we have the joint sessions. Then we have president-elect session. And then we have the social evening. It's not the last, but you know, it's, uh, um, it's all those things that we are involved in. And we appreciate really so, so much for anyone who, who wishes to suggest any ideas on, you know, and contribute to the, um, to the IFLA camp on um, maybe some of the concepts or whatever you wanna uh, share with us, just uh, contact us uh, through our Facebook page or, or the website. We are really so happy to hear about uh, new stuff, so. Yeah. Yes. And especially, especially those who are locals who live in Wroclaw, we would really appreciate uh, local contact. Yes. Because we are all not from Poland, as you can see. <laughs> <So>, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's true. And for example, we don't know where to have the, the happy hour, for example. Yes, yes. So uh, if there's anything that you can uh, help us with, you know, share, that's, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. So um, what, what else was there on our agenda for today? I think we just wanted to speak about the closest plans, which are August plans, right? Yes, yes, that was the idea because we do have more plans than August. Yeah. <laughs> For example, maybe um, uh, when we move away from August, we will have uh, probably one of the webinars that we organize each year, once or twice a year, and then you know we'll have more things going on and interviews and so on. And maybe Anton, you can share just briefly about the 
the January conference of, for the new professionals? Yes, uh, as I was saying uh, last year, the the um, the president-elect session was a very important moment, and it was also an important moment for NPSIG because, yeah, I changed the pronunciation of NPSIG and PSIG. You know, sometimes uh, it's it's nice to to, to change. Um, and and PSIG. PSIG. Um, and it was a very important moment for us because also it was the moment where we began to work with Gloria Perez Almeron, who will be, become uh, the new president of IFLA for two years uh, in August. Uh, and we had a very good contact with, it, with her and uh, her energy is very, I mean, it, it made us very enthusiastic. And uh, we decided also that we wanted to work more with her. And uh, that's also why uh, we thought about organizing other events with her. And also during the FLA conference in Columbus, we met many uh, new professionals, but we also met other professionals who were running local associations and who, who asked us, uh, oh, we would like to build uh, a network of uh, new professionals, uh, new librarians in our country, but we don't know how to do. Uh, or we would like to organize events for new professionals, but we don't know how to do. And the only thing we could answer was, well, we don't really know how to do either. So with uh, Violetta and Milan uh, at that time, we thought, okay, let's give it a try. And so uh, that's how the idea came of organizing uh, an event in France, because I'm from France and I was uh, interested in the idea uh, for new professionals. Um, and since then, we, we've been working uh, a little about it. So it will be in January uh, 2018, so next January, on uh, January 11th and 12th. Uh, and um, since uh, last week, we know that it will be at the same time in two cities in France, in Paris and in Lyon. Uh, and uh, Gloria Perez Salmeron just agreed to be in both cities. So the first, probably the first day in Lyon and the second in Paris, but uh, both events will be on two days and will be in parallel cities. So we will try to use uh, digital tools to have a global event, but in two cities. We don't really know uh, how we will do, but uh, it will be awesome. So also uh, the idea is to organize something for new professionals so that they can uh, get in touch with each other, but also so they can learn with an international approach. That's why we have Gloria coming and that's why we will have other persons coming. Uh, we are still working on the program. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the date and the place are okay. It will be uh, in Lyon at the, the, the National School for uh, like uh, librarianship and uh, information sciences and in probably also at the town library and in Paris uh, we are still waiting for a conf confirmation from the National Library and also the National Library for uh, Oriental Languages. Mm -hmm. um, yes and so we are also looking for ideas for the program of uh, particularly brilliant people uh, around the world who would uh, who, whom we would like to have at that uh, attending and uh, presenting something during that event. And uh, well, that's uh, a work in progress. But if you have any ideas, just send an email or on to NPSIG or, or on Facebook or tell us on Twitter, on Snapchat, as you like. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, now you reminded me uh, when you said uh, January 2018, that's also uh, when uh, IFLA plans to issue a global vision report. And that's something um, we as the new professionals also wanted to just briefly introduce you to. Um, global vision discussions uh, have started in April in Athens in Greece. And um, they will keep on uh, running towards the end of the year. Uh, at this point, uh, IFLA is having regional meetings, uh, flying from one con continent to another. And uh, it will all end in uh, July in um, Spain, that's for the Europe. And um, after that, um, uh, lots of um, 
self-organized workshops, so to say, um, will be uh, held uh, towards um, Wroclaw, uh, towards the EFL conference, and then um, in September, some online voting will be blah, blah, blah going on. So not to bother you too much, but the thing is, uh, we will, uh, in the upcoming period, we will introduce you to the Global Vision discussions and uh, hopefully get you involved because the uh, Global Vision report will not happen without us. You know, uh, what we say will end up in this report. And without our voice, you know, the picture won't be perfect, you know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, so each librarian who uh, really wishes to discuss the, um, some of the hot topics or um, upcoming uh, challenges uh, about libraries, what they should or should not be doing and so on, uh, so everyone is uh, asked to participate and we as the new professional special interest group will be try will be trying to um, sort of uh, gather as many voices of the new professionals as we can so Okay, so um, was there um, anything else at this point for this meeting? I think I think we are good We're good. Yeah Maybe only um, um, you, we, we already said that uh, Andres had been uh, participating remotely and it's very important to know that there are many things to do online, but also uh, NPS, NPSIG is what we wanted to do and what everyone wants it to do. And especially online, we have a blog and we can publish articles so um, we agreed last year that people could write articles in their own language and we, if, if we find the time and the persons, we translate it into, into English and into other languages, but it doesn't have to be in English at the very beginning. So if uh, you have an idea or uh, a topic you would like to write about, uh, just let us know and we'll say yes or no, but usually we say yes. Yes, and when and you want to uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have to add that it doesn't have to be in the form of a text, written text. It can be also yes. a little video. It can be audio recording if you are more comfortable with other sources of uh, like uh, ways of sharing information. And I yes. think also that Andres wrote, uh, it's online, the text that Andres wrote and that gives some guidelines uh, for writing a blog post for our blog. So you can read it and these are very useful guidelines. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. When you uh, say post blogs, uh, blog posts, it's, uh, it's not some, I don't know, endless article that you, you know, just start reading and you just can't wait to end and so on. The instructions, the guidelines that Andres wrote um, with Violetta, right? Uh, they are, um, they are very uh, clear, very, very sort of uh, simple in terms of uh, the articles that come out after that, based on that, they are really cool to read, like very brief, very effective, you know, so uh, I don't know, I, I, I find it kind of really, really interesting. Okay, so uh, if we went through everything, um, we can wrap it up. And uh, I would like to thank you all for, for joining. And those of you who will be watching later, uh, just get in touch with us anytime you like. And uh, we'll see each other hopefully in uh, August in Wroclaw at the IFL camp. Okay. Wow. Okay, see ya. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.